Hey, welcome back everybody. Steve Looney here from graphicdesignertips.com. This is episode number 13 in my new Adobe Illustrator CC 2014 series. And in this video, I'm going to be going over a bunch of different ways that you can save your files. Now, I know it sounds pretty simple. You know, oh yeah, I just save a file. But you want to make sure that you're saving your files correctly depending on what you're going to be doing with them. So if you're going to be sending them off to somebody or if you're just going to be organizing them on your computer, you got to make sure you're doing it right. Now, right here on the screen is an ad for a design for a client of mine. It's been in a couple of tutorials already, different ads I've done for them. But basically, in my last episode, I showed you all how to create outlines. So that's what we're going to do prior to saving this. So we are going to go, hit Command A, type Create Outlines. Okay, so now we're ready to save this. Now we have a couple of different options. We are going to come up to the file and the first thing is a save option. Okay, so if you know what, and I'm actually, I'm going to back up and I'm going to tell you why I'm going to uncreate outlines because what's going to happen is if I, if I hit save, all right, if I go to file save, it's going to overwrite the exact illustrator document that I have done already. And obviously if you create outlines, you don't want to do that, but save command S is basic or control S on a PC is what you want to do if you're in the middle of working and you know, you know, you you're, you know, you forget to save. So you want to save every once in a while, uh, or, you know, you get a phone call, you got to jump up from your desk or go to the bathroom, get something to eat. Command S. All right. You definitely want to save this all the time. It's going to overwrite the exact file you're working on. All right. Now the next one is save as. Now, if we go to file, save as it's basically going to save it as the name of the ad and it's wherever you want it. So you can put it on your desktop or wherever. So that is a save as, all right. The third is a save a copy. So if I'm working on something, I really like it. What I normally would do is I would save it. Okay. Boom. I, I'm going to save it where I'm happy with it. And then I'm going to come to file, save a copy and I'm going to save it, you know, somewhere and I'm going to rename it something else. And that's the whole reasoning why you would save a copy of something. Now, the final is save a template. Now, yes, the save for web. I'm going to talk that, about that in a future episode. But save as a template is something that it's basically just going to, uh, you know, you're going to save it as a template. And every time you open it, you're going to have to resave it as something else. You just, it's something you want to toy with. But it's kind of like, you know, say like a branding package or, or something like, um, you know, or a specific postcard that you do for people. You always want it to be the same size with your guides and everything. You would save those as templates. So it's much easier for you to use later on. Now, just as I showed you in episode number five, and you're going to see why, and I'm doing this in a second, I'm going to actually make another artboard. So I'm going to drag this artboard right over here and I'm going to create a second artboard. And I mean, I can even move it over if, if it's bothering anybody. Uh, let's see. Perfect. Okay, cool. All right. So now I have two artboards with the same thing because I just want to show you in the save options where it gets into artboards. So we're going to come to file. We're going to go to save as, and right now I'm just going to, you know, say I put it on my, uh, my desktop for now. You're going to see, we can name it whatever we want. So we're going to name this test. Uh, I'm going to actually make a PDF. And what we can do in here is we could either do all, all right. And it's going to do all one and two artboard or we could do a range so we do you know artboard one or you know or one to two one to three say you have multiple i mean i have some things that have you know over 20 artboards on it uh and you'll see that in the next tutorial but um what i'm gonna do is i am gonna select all and i'm gonna hit save and at this point this is when you're obviously gonna get your uh settings that you're gonna uh you know have presets um so normally what i do i stick with just a high quality print uh I'm going to talk about this in a later video, but I'm just, I'm just going to uncheck that preserve illustrated edited capabilities just to get a smaller file, just to send for print because, uh, um, you know, uh, that file is, it, 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 there's a lot of things that it does to the file that you cannot edit it later on. But it, and then again, it is a print ready PDF. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to add my bleeds and I'll add some trim marks and I'm going to save that PDF. And now I'm going to come to my desktop and I'm going to open that PDF. And what do you think is going to happen? Exactly. We have a two page PDF. All right. Uh, 
Hold on, I'm spinning here. Here we go. All right, two page PDF. I've got my crop marks and my bleed. All right, because I already set them up on my document. And that's page two and that's page one. So that's basically the uh, the basics, basically the basics on saving in Adobe Illustrator. Uh, so like I said, there is the save feature, all right? As, as far as I know, there is no auto save um, in CC 2014, as I have researched and I don't see it on here. Um, save as is uh, to save it as, you know, save the actual document as something else. So you're saving it in another space, place with the same name that it is. Um, save a copy is when you're duplicating it because you love what you have on the initial one. But now you want to come up with another version or for whatever reason you want to save a copy and then save as a template. Templates, the word template says it all just to kind of have templates ready to go uh, that you're going to be designing all the time for people. So if you love this video, let me know in the comments below. Uh, and definitely please share it out on your social networks to your, you know, uh, your classmates, colleagues, whoever, other graphic designers, and click the subscribe button to make sure that you do not miss the videos when they come out, uh, when they publish on them. And that's it, everybody. I will talk to you soon and look forward to doing the next episode. Have a great night. Peace.